What's up, everybody? Jason here for Jaspies Case Breaks.com. 2223 Tops UEFA Club Competitions Merlin Chrome Soccer just sold out. This is a three box break, random teams number five. And again, guys, fresh case. So, again, all cards ship. Everybody, it's a random team from the list below. There is a combo spot that has all of these teams in there. So, obviously, that's a good, nice value there. And of course, a lot of good teams there in general. Uh, this is. Uh, Three box breaks, you get one auto per box on average. Chances some renaissance and match balls in the case as well. Uh, so here we go, guys. Let's try to get this rolling then. So dice roll it, and it is a five and a four nine times. Good luck. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, five, four, nine, nine. Brian down to Ryan. Five, four, nine. <clears throat> nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Leipzig. Leipzig down to Inter Milan. All right, so Brian, you have Leipzig, John with Tottenham, Edward <laughs> with Copenhagen, D Porter, you have Combo Spot plus Barca, Nicholas with Liverpool, D Porter, you have PSG, Robert with Fernabase, John with Stade or Stad, um, Darren with Arsenal, Nicholas with Chelsea, Craig with Rangers, Sporting Club for Port, uh, D Porter, John with Man City, Roger with PSV, Nicholas with Juventus, Robert with. Uh, Bayern Munich, D Porter with Celtic, AC Milan with Robert Runkel, D Porter with Dortmund, Kev with Real Madrid, Benfica for D Porter, Roger Salzburg, Man U, D Porter, and then Ryan Presnell, you have Inter Milan. So if anybody wants to make any trades, quick, quick trade window. What's up, Aaron? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I know, right? The, the grind. The grind. I, mean, I came in a little early today, too. I was supposed to be here at 12, but honestly, I, I kind of snoozed my alarms and I woke up an hour late, so that's why I got here around 1. <laughs> but it's okay. These are like extra hours, anyways. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm ready for the weekend too, man. I'm more ready for like next weekend though. The long weekend. Gonna go on a little little family camping trip, you know, so. Should be great. Dude, I'm hungry and I just ordered some I just ordered uh I just ordered some I ordered a croissant at the at one of the uh donut shops around here. I got a ham and cheese croissant coming. I didn't really get to get breakfast this morning. So um, I just had to order some food here. Damn, fool, you just straight up going to the Sala Torta. <laughs> All right, trade window closed, guys. But now you start your days earlier, right? Or do you have the afternoons like I do? I don't remember. I, I think you start earlier, don't you? Or So you definitely could be on like actual lunch, lunch.
All right, guys. So, like last time, three boxes there, three boxes there, and three boxes here. So I should make four. One, two, three, four. Let's see which one is generated here. Throw a little die roll. If I roll a five or a six, we'll just have to re-roll again. Nope. There you go, four. Gotcha. So we're gonna do this stack right here. So these ones. We'll stay together. Let me put somewhere back here. Nice, is that like the normal like fair? Like kind of like the way they have like the Alley County Fair and Orange County Fair down here? Where's Bishop at? Gotcha. Oh, that's sick, dude. I love those fairs, man. Yeah, they, they definitely do. sometimes have a really, really good barbecue. I remember last year we went to the LA County Fair and my mom got like this pork chop on a stick. I'm not even kidding you, dude. Like, it was crazy. Like, it was so good. And it was a pork chop on a stick. I was like, what the hell? Oh, okay, so it's a little up there then. Nice. So you're going to head out there like it's for the weekend, right? Definitely, yeah, there's just no way you can do four and a half hours there and back, right? Gotta, gotta at least stay one day. Hell yeah, dude, it's sick. Yeah, I'm going to like my, uh, I'm going to like Julian, California. Kind of like the little mountains area of San Diego. Uh, my, my parents have had like this little, uh, it's like, I guess you can call it a timeshare kind of deal, but like there's like, I think it was called like California River Adventures or something like that. And it's basically all these little spots all around California, Arizona. Um, that they basically have campsites for like RVs, tents, rent cabins, toy haulers type of deal. And it's been a while, man. I haven't been there since, man, I can't even, I can't even remember when like, maybe years even before my dad passed, you know, it's been a while, dude. So I'm kind of excited because it's been a long time. I grew up going there really, so it was always fun. But we're taking some of my, my dad's, well, my dad's side of the family, we're taking a couple of my uncles and my aunt, so. More than just us usually, which is cool. It should be fun to just get out and just relax, you know? So, I'm pretty excited about that. It's been a long time. But I kinda wanna go to the fair now. <laughs> I didn't get to go this year, because they had the Alley County Fair. They had the Alley County Fair like super early. Like it was called like Spring Fair, which I just didn't feel like going in May. And then usually the Orange County Fair is like right now, right? Like in August. And Orange County is one that I usually go to because it's so much cooler weather, right? And you're nearby the beach in Costa Mesa. But I didn't get a chance to go on the weekends, especially, you know, that I work Saturday, so I was trying to go Sundays at least, but it just didn't work out. But I'm usually the Alley County Fair is right after like in September, which I don't think they're gonna do it because I, I thought they switched it to, uh, to Spring Fair. But yeah, I'm kind of a little bummed out. What do you deafs enjoy, man? Sorry, I tried my first time like fried Oreos and shit. Oh, that was probably the most unhealthy shit to eat, but you know, that's how it is, right? Fried, uh, fried frog legs, do they still have that? I'm sure they do, right? I just went to the hat the other day on my day off. I went on Monday. 
Got a pastrami dip. Little cheese, cheese fries, onion rings. Oh, me and my wife ate there for lunch. I love pastrami, that's great. Alright guys, here we go. Three boxes. Three boxes. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Too much. Uh, Cameron Carter Vickers. Um, are you gonna go to any Lions games this year, Aaron? I mean, do they come to LA? I feel like you have to see them if they come to SoFi. Eagles play the Rams in SoFi. Let's go. I'm, I'm gonna get my ticket soon, actually. But I have to try to find a shit ton because a ton of people want to go with me. Boniface, out of 150, for Union. Ooh, they play the Chargers even better. I would have loved that they play the Rams. All right, you could have seen Stafford play against the play against the uh, against his former team, Alessandro Bastoni. Or Inter Milano. That's sick, though. You gotta go, dude. So far, it's amazing, though. It's so great. Yeah, the Eagles play week five against the uh, Rams here. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, they don't, Aaron. I've been to SoFi so many times that they don't do that no more. They stopped that after 2021. You're good to go, buddy. You don't have to worry about that. Antonio Silva. Ooh, and we got a Renaissance. How about a Garnacho? There you go. They haven't required proof of that stuff in a long time, dude. It's been since like 2021. Very nice. That's for Manchester United. And who was Man U again? Was that D Porter? Yeah, D Porter. Look at that. Woo! -hoo. We got Aegis Alchemy, Dennis Bergkamp, Luka Modric, Moises Simon. Well, at that time, yes. That was in 2021. Jude Bellingham for Dorman, but after 2021, they haven't done that in a long time, dude. So you should be fine. So don't, don't worry about that. Although COVID cases are going up in LA, I've been hearing, but no, I, they don't they don't require that anymore. They haven't done it since 2021. I remember I had to do that for the Raiders Eagles game for sure, but that was obviously right after everything. So I mean, they just wanted everybody to be safe. But now now it's back to like normal, really honestly. All right, great box right there with that uh, Renaissance. Jude Bellingham too. There's the autograph. Let's go on to the next one. And we have a blue uh, Hagi for Rangers FC to 75. Yeah, for sure. Go with him. Give it a Martinelli. Uh, Divin for West Ham. And orange out of 25, Kobe uh, for Manchester United, under 21 rookie. That's pretty sick. But yeah, Charger tickets are so much cheaper than Rams tickets, dude. So you can get some good seats for a way better price. That's the one thing that kind of sucks about seeing the Eagles play the Rams. <clears throat> the tickets are so much more expensive. Bautista. Nayef to 250 for West Ham. Susik. Saliba. Oh, 
Oh, no, I'm just leaving here. Thank you. Sorry. I didn't realize he was going to come that fast. Uh, Martin Neto for Benfica. Christian Pulisic. Oh, you are? Nice. So that's uh, in Detroit, though, right? Or you mean just in general? Do they play the Rams this year? Dominic. Yeah, I think you have to do. Obviously, you're a big Matthew Stafford guy, so when you get to see Stafford and Detroit Lions at the same time, why not? Oh, gotcha. When they have, well, they sh it should be happening soon if they don't play each other already. I mean, I feel like if they didn't play each other last year... Did they play each other last year? they didn't play each other last year or this year, then it's definitely going to happen the year after. Wow, two renaissances in this case. Julian Alvarez. Good Lord. Manchester United, now Man City, right? Wow, that's sick. Oh, they did play already. Okay, well, that makes sense. So, yeah, then it won't happen for another two years then. That's how it usually goes. Unless the Rams and Detroit Lions, like, both are playoff teams and win their divisions type of deal, then that's when they play each other, like, again. Most a lot of 350. So that makes sense. Oh, it's 2021. Oh, so they got to be playing each other by next year, then. It's been a couple of years already. Since they're in the NFC, they don't have to wait too long. Arnold for stayed. Since they're in the NFC, I think it's usually, like, two, three years in between times. But if you're in the AFC, like the Eagles, like every time I see, like, I've been seeing the Eagles play here in LA every eight years. The first time I seen them was in 20, 2009, I think. They played the Chargers in San Diego. And then I had to wait all the way till 2017, the year the Eagles went to the Super Bowl, to come see them in LA when they moved to LA to play the Chargers. Now, again, I, I have to wait another eight years from 2017. So what is that? 19, 20, 21. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. In 2025, in two years, they'll come back to LA and play the Chargers. But they're more likely to play the Rams every two, three years, though. Evan, Gassan. Yeah, because the AFC, they only, they rotate between conferences or divisions every four years, basically. So they just played the Chargers two years ago in, in Philly. But now I have to wait four years, so now two more years to go, and then they come back to LA. Usman, Dimbelli. But, like, when the Eagles are good and the Rams are good, that's when usually, like, you can kind of match up. Because usually they end up playing, like, an NFC, like, division winner at the same time if they win the division. So that's kind of how it goes. Lavi. All right, guys. What a great couple boxes. Now, again, I had a couple cases on Fanatics Live last week, guys, that literally had no renaissances or any match balls. So the fact that this one already had two renaissances means that it could be a pretty loaded case, guys. Autograph wise, we didn't pull anything massive either, but obviously two renaissances, a nice orange, definitely is a solid break. So appreciate it, guys. If you guys want to get another one going, on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com.